What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 Career Mode Series video, and it is time for the final round of week one of the FedEx Cup playoffs, the FedEx St. Jude Championship, and we set ourselves up in perfect position to win this tournament today. We have a four stroke advantage over Colin Morikawa. We're sitting 12 under, Colin Morikawa sitting eight under, Tiger Woods is sitting in third place. So we are in perfect position to go out there and win today's tournament. Now we have had multiple examples throughout these first three seasons where Ryan Gamer has had a good lead going into the final round and has kind of fallen apart. Most of those rounds that we fell apart to lose have been because the putter got cold. So we gotta make sure we focus on our reads today and we need the putter to be hot. My goal is to shoot the same thing we did in round number one. You know, 12 under might be a stretch, but hey, if we could do it in round one, we can do it in round two. I need all your all's one times, all the hype and positive encouraging comments, just like always. A year ago, Ryan Gamer played terrible in the FedEx St. Jude Championship. So we are looking to turn that around this year into a win, go into the BMW Championship, defend our title from last season. We won the BMW Championship in season two, looking to do that now in season three. And then of course, last but not least, the ultimate goal, win at East Lake Golf Club in the Tour Championship. Exciting episodes left in this career mode series, but let's close out this tournament today. If you all get some enjoyment, be sure to drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and stay tuned for plenty more career mode content here on the Gamer Booty YouTube channel. You like sports games. You like career modes. This is the channel for you. We have nine ongoing career modes at the same time. So be sure to check the channel page. Scroll through. You're likely to find another video or series that you enjoy. Now, Ryan Gamer has been on a shooting slump as a rookie in NBA 2K25. So he's looking to take out his frustrations of his shooting slump from NBA here on the golf course in PGA 2K23. So Ryan Gamer will be playing a little upset today. He may dominate. I don't know. Ryan may shoot 14 under today. He's playing a little angry with the shooting slump he's been having for the Miami Heat. So he's looking to turn that around in the next episode. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and dive on in. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the FedEx St. Jude Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beeman. It's the final round here, Rich. What's our next player up against as they begin it? Never easy going to bed with the lead and they're out here today it's probably weighing on them a little bit i gotta say though this player has been playing well that's why they have the lead so they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round certainly excited to see how today plays out rich okay here we go now the big strategy today is don't hold up sometimes you have a big lead you play too conservatively we don't need to do that we know how the ai has played this entire season Colin Morikawa may shoot 14 under today. We do not hold anything back. Seven miles per hour wins. We're going to crush this golf course today. Let's get the nervous jitters out, the practice swing. And let's send it. Come on. Get your one times ready. We need them. And let's see what he can do here today. Four. Four. Oh, they're fine. That's in the heavy stuff, though. That's unlucky. <sighs> That's not the shot he's hoping for. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. Yeah, this is not ideal because we're looking at probably a fade shot from the heavy rough, a lie of 72 to 81% with an 8-iron in hand. I do think that's a good club. Now, in order to hit this, we've got to fade this into the wind around the trees in front of us. This is where you don't want to miss on this golf course for this reason. You just can't leave yourself in this position. But Ryan Gamer is born in the rough at TPC Sawgrass, so he's used to hitting golf shots like this. Come on, one time. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. I, I pulled it. 
and it just wasn't able to fade enough. Good shot, though. Unable to find the green on this one. Now, from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Yeah, I mean, Rich is right. But really, that, that you just don't want to be in that position, right? Poor swing to start the day. We got this. 11 yard. I'm going to put this. Pull out the Texas wedge from the fairway. Come on. One time. Under read that break. Didn't hit it hard enough anyways, but good he shot. This, he'll save his par. Not the way you want to start out on a short par four. The problem with this course is I said it in the last episode in round number one. You miss fairways, you're not going to score. That's pretty tidy. And that's an opening hole par for this player. That's a rock solid par right there. I mean, it's better than a bogey, right? I mean, it, we could have easily well, bogeyed from the rough. Play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard. Colin gets a Colin rare Morikawa bogey. In second. That is a rare bogey from Colin Morikawa. He had a couple bogeys in the last round as well. The reason I say rare bogey, he hasn't bogeyed a lot this season. He definitely didn't bogey in the Tour Championship last season. Beautiful. Lovely effort, that. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Oh, the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering, and it's straight back up into this player. I may not. I may not tell any life stories today. I wanna. I wanna win this match. May not talk as much. Gotta win this tournament. 107, eight mile an hour wind. I love the club. And aim at about 118. Let it come off to the right. Let the wind blow it right into the hole. Wind's got to grab it. Come on, come on, wind. Oh, it just never grabbed it. Seemed to lose okay. the handle on that shot. Looking at the caddy. A bit too much club there. It was a crosswind. No rig, but a chance to save their par. And clearly the crosswind just did not affect it as much as I expected. This is very chip inable. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Judging it beautifully. Good touch, but not Down the start we wanted. Let's head to the next. Currently in first position. Good news is we're not losing any ground. We have a five stroke advantage Let's on Xander Shafle and Colin Morikawa. Now this is where we have to score. Just hit the fairway, nothing fancy. You know, just gotta not overthink it. The reason Ryan Gamer's in a shooting slump right now in NBA 2K25 is because he's overthinking his shot. You know, his shooting coach Jerry just keeps telling him, shoot, just shoot. This shot from about so yards. Ryan's letting it get into his head a little bit and is he's his definitely has a lot of shooting frustrations. We can't let that carry on over to the golf course. We have to focus on the golf. We have to trust our swing and and just swing. Don't think about it. Now, this is not where you want to be, right? This is just like just like round number one. And I think we're going to have to lay this up in the fairway. Listen, I hate to do it, here. but it's too risky to fade that around that tree. If you if you miss hit it, if you slow it or push it, that ball's in the water. So getting ready to play their third. 48 yards. Uphill one foot. I like the flop shot here. I think flop shot gives us a chance to dial it in. The main problem with the flop shot is if you're off tempo just a little bit and swing planes off, it's going to have a broad, like, dispersion zone so that shot went well to the left great distance control but we're still dancing on the fringe 
most of the break here is right at the beginning. The tricky part is picking up that break right off the fringe, right? One time. Ooh. I read the beginning break wrong. I Three misread the end. The hole? I yes. thought it For par. did not think it was going to continue to break that much. Wow. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And Colin gets Can an eagle. It doesn't surprise me. Keep in mind, we're playing together. Ride Gamer just saw that eagle. This hole is a par three. You know, the last time we had a lead like this, we came out flat as well. I don't know what it is. You know, when, I'm, when you're playing from behind, I feel like you play a lot different. And I don't feel like I'm changing my strategy at all. But we are three, we're even through three. So something's going on. 179, downhill eight feet. Seven iron in hand. A little bit of loft and backspin. Let the wind take this up. Just cannot miss this left. That's a great that swing. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great. Thank rhythm. you, Rich. Great rhythm indeed. That is perfection. Just like we drew up, right? Just like we drew it up. Showing zero signs of any nerves as they play against their rival and playing partner, Tiger Woods. What a fantastic approach. That's right, because Tiger Woods is our rival this week. Here. And Tiger Woods is second in the FedEx Cup standings and going to remain second after this tournament. Most likely. Got to make this another putt with a tricky beginning. It's got a chance. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? A par putt awaits. Just not, for some reason, just not seeing these greens well today. I did not think that was going to break that much. Clearly, I was wrong. As soon as I hit it and saw that initial break, I'm like, "That's there's no way it's going in. Looks good off the blade. Now, okay. two shots up after that one. Colin with a birdie. An eagle birdie. Oh, no. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. We got to wake up. Come on. Do you want to win or do you want to lose, Ryan? Simple question. That's a winning swing right and there. That's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. That's a winning swing. Hey, do you want to win or do you want to lose? That's what we have to yet have to answer the rest of this Second round. Shot here Wake up, YouTube. Keep those one times coming. We need the power of the one times today. 190 downhill four. Wind has died down. Lend this a couple yards short. Aim at the right edge of the green. Let the wind pull it. Just got to strike this to perfection. Looks to be going with the five iron. Well, we didn't Cutting strike it with smart. perfection. Got to control it, though. Let's see. But when you miss, what I always say, hope you miss in the equal magnitudes of opposite direction. That's inside the house of opportunity. Okay, Henny. We got lucky. What's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 25 feet from okay. the cup. Whatever I get my read to, I'm going to add more to it. 25 feet, downhill 4 inches. Okay, I'm adding more to it, and we're sending it. Yes! Signaling your intent. Can we get amongst it early? Setting the tone early in this round. And it's time to That'll calm that the point. nerves, right? Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. Run it back, Henny. Which one of you all one time that, you legends? Come on. Good putt. Just perfect. I, again, I got my read. I added more to it. That's golf sometimes, right? Sometimes you're just a little bit off. By three shots. Now a three-stroke advantage, but Colin Morikawa is three under in the last three holes. Keep that in mind. Lovely moment. Tiger Woods is right there. The last hole. Keep it rolling. Oh, 
here's the thing. If we can't handle the nerves now, we cannot handle the nerves at East Lake either, right? So we have to use this as a learning experience to get us in the right mindset to win at East Lake. Because if we if we let the nerves start to get us at East Lake, you're gonna probably get four bogeys in the stretch of five holes, right? That might be an over exaggeration, but if you're nervous on that cor course, it will crush you. We just gotta calm the nerves, play the game, play smart. 69 to 77% lie here in the heavy rough. This is not good. Gonna have to go up to probably an eight iron partial shot. Not a high percentage look right now. And choosing the eight iron. That's here. perfect. Nice out the rough here. That is perfection. Come on. That's well played. Pin high. Pin this high indeed. To get to 14 under the card. This is this a massive for chance. A birdie, birdie run. 15 feet uphill, two inches to get back to back birdies here. It's left to right, and then it changes right to left at the end. But I don't think it's going to come back very much. Most of it is left to right. One time. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, look who's getting on a roll now. Remain That's calm. Back -back birdies. Act like you've I been like there before, right? Okay. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Okay. Three strokes ahead. Kala does get a birdie as well. This hole is a par four. And it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Yeah, it is a lengthy par four. And you want to make sure you're on the left side. We really just want to make sure you're on the fairway, but... If it was that simple, we wouldn't have a below 65 fairway percentage. That's really good. Now, the problem is that tree does come into play, but we can fade it. Now, a three-shot lead Do we need to fade it? Yeah, I think we do. I mean... It's a risk because my, my swing plane is all over the place. So if we fade this and I swing my swing plane is all over the place, it could get rid of the fade and we could either hit those fans on the right or it could go way left. I do not think we fade this. I am going to loft this. Take a little bit off of it. Loft and spin. And just hope this gets over the tree. And even if it hits the tree, we should be fine. I mean, the experts say, the scientists say, that trees are 90% air. We're about to put that to the test right now. We'll see if they're 90% air. Going with the 8-iron here. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Speaking of missing shot, swing plane and tempo, and there's an example and of it. With the third shot. And I know some of you are like... Some of you might be, well, Ryan, you didn't, you didn't slow it that much. You didn't push it that much. Why did it go all the way over there? So when you add shot shaping, that dispersion zone is going to get wider, right? So a miss is going to be bigger. And we were on a side hill lie. We were on a side hill lie to the right. So if you push it and slow it off a side hill lie, it's going to go much further off to the right than you expect. So there's a lot of reasons why that just went well too far out. I'm most The main reason is just a bad shot. Okay. Cinematic camera. How close was that to going down? Good shot. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. Colin, settle down. In first place with Colin Morikawa. Tiger is right there. Five back from Let's Ryan Gamer. Colin Morikawa is within two strokes right now. He's on a birdie train. Did somebody accidentally call the birdie train in for Colin instead of Ryan? 168 yards, downhill 10 feet. It's a tough, tough shot, right? Because with that wind at our back, how are we going to stop it? It all comes down to the strike. to have opted for the eight iron. 
That's such this a good swing. Going to the right. It, it went well to the right. Get lucky. Yeah, I tried to do that. That was all that part was of the plan. <laughs> There's part of about six feet coming up. This is all what they part have of the plan. Here. Make sure you all leave your 100% calculated comments on hole eight, so I know. Perfectly calculated. Definitely was trying to miss right, bank it off that slope, trickle it onto the green. For a nice tap-in bird. Beautiful shot. That's incredible. I mean, that's just unreal. One of the best shots I've hit on that green was a miss hit. Oh, not a miss hit. Sorry. Well, All part of the plan. That hole. Look, Colin gets a birdie. 15 under to 13 under. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great okay. opportunity to build on that momentum. Come on. Hey, we know how to play the game. That's Just go out there and get the job one. done. I want to win this tournament so bad. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Currently leading by two. Yeah, course is playing much tougher with the pin locations, and our putting is not hot today. And it was hot in round one. And this is a pitcher perfect club. I'm not doing any shot shaping. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, that's a good line. It's, it felt that's so good, surface. but it wasn't. It, it was it was a pull and then a slow. Well, that's well played. And a chance for birdie here at the ninth. Nine feet, downhill one inch. Just a bit left to right. Adding more to my read. A good stroke. Adding more to That's our read impressive. is key today. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. That's Here how you close out a front. Getting their groove on. Not the dream start. Well, four under, or, or even through the first four holes, and we turned it on. There's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. Yeah, exactly. Keep the pedal to the metal. Did you all see Tiger Woods just eagled this hole? He just eagled hole number 10 and is now within four strokes of the lead. I felt like that this one. One's heading to the beach. I'd rather be at the beach than in the heavy stuff, so. But just a big time miss it. Penny, what does that lie look like? I really like the look of this. It couldn't be lying any more perfect. That is lucky. Maybe Jerry. <laughs> you know, Jerry's not the caddy here. Doc, of course, she's the caddy here in this series. But Jerry, Ryan Gamer's swing coach, might have might have went there to the sand and kind of Rake the sand right before that went in there. We have a 91 to 98% lie. Pretty lucky lie. And the good news is, I think we're enough left of this tree to where we can aim left, not hit the tree, and let the wind blow it back to the right. This is a great club. And we have a right to left side hill lie. The ball's going to pull to the left. The wind's going to try to pull it back. Oops, this one's headed for the rough. Slow is the only miss you don't want there. And this from the green side rough. Uh, well, fast would have been bad too, but the problem with the slow, it takes off too much distance and we got the lowest percent of the lie. That's okay. We can chip this in. I, I kind of want to putt it, but that would not be a good idea. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Crushed it. Pretty good chance here. This one's for yeah, fun. it would have been nice, Luke, but, I mean, we didn't give it a chance. He hit it that firm. It's it's never going in. Ooh, nice line. I like that kind of fight. That shows resilience. In trouble off the tee in that fairway bunker with that putt. Saves the par. Well done. Hey, we got this. Come on, drink some coffee for me. 
already drank a. I, I did drink an, ex an, an espresso right before this round, so don't worry. <laughs> we have enough energy. Probably should have drank another one, though. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Four stroke advantage, right? Colin, I believe, is at 12 under. Tiger is at 11. Five strokes back. Let's keep it up. Seven mile an hour tailwind. I like the eight iron here. A little bit of loft and backspin and attack this thing. You can't risk it too much, though. So that's why I'm aiming a little bit further out to the right. Great swing. And choosing the eight iron here. It's a safe shot, right? I mean, not a bad approach. you're not going to risk that too much. Not with a four stroke a advantage. Bonus, right on 17 feet from here. I know I said keep the pedal to the metal, but that's not a time to flirt with the water. Remember, Ryan Gamer has a magnet for the water. This is basically straight in. It's left to right, right, or right to left, left to right, and then right to left. Just didn't drop. Putting for a par now. Well, uh, I've been under reading, right? So what did I do? I added a bit more to the right there at the end when I didn't need to. So that's golf sometimes. You know, you have to play the way you've been reading the whole day. If you're under reading, you got to compensate. We've done that, and we've been playing good golf doing it. Even though that one I, I just misread. We've arrived at a par four. Really hoping they play just, this one just aggressively. Hit it in the fairway. Well, aggressively, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, aggre I, this is the one where I, I was like, what do you even do here, right? And I really still don't know what to do. Like, Lovely. it's got to be Lovely. three wood, but I just don't see the point of sending that. Then you could argue, though, that a, that a three wood is just as risky as a driver there, and I mean it really Second is. Shot here on the twelve. It takes a perfect shot either way, so I can definitely see the argument being made to go for that. I want to hit a lob wedge here. I don't want to pitch this, even though we have a good club. I just think the high percentage shot here for me is a is a slight lob. One of my favorite shots in the game to hit. That's yeah, good it. Swing. This one's heading up onto the green for Good sure. tempo, but if it was a little bit better tempo, it might have been in. And a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. Ooh, these are good putts to make. Good for momentum. Right on seven feet. Seven this feet. Is look at birdie. Just a little bit right to left. Just trust your line here. I'm not going to get get fancy here. I'm not going to add more to it. Trust the line. Yep, tracking well. We know how to putt. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Six hoes remaining. How bad do you want to win? We got to show it. Still in the lead now after that hole. Colin, I knew it. Colin with the birdie. Tiger did get a bogey. So Tiger's in third. Colin in second there. He's four back with six holes remaining. Well, 13. That's unlucky for some, Rich. This is giving flashbacks to last year's tour championship. If you remember, I believe in the last six holes, Ryan Gamer was it was within four strokes of Colin Morikawa at East Lake. If you remember that, nobody was beating Colin in that tournament, but still, we 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 tried. We fell up short by four or five strokes, I think. But yeah, this is our revenge tour this season. We're trying to get revenge on Colin Morikawa. What better way? First tournament here in the playoffs if we get a win against him. He ran away Bad with the tour championship. One. Like, I know the score. I think we were within four or five, but it didn't feel like it, honestly. It was his tournament. Nobody else was even close to Colin or what Ryan kind of Gamer. What are they facing here, Henny? He is right on the 150-yard marker here. 149, uphill six. We got an eight-mile-an-hour cross tailwind. So it's either a partial eight or a de-lofted pitch. And I think a de-lofted pitch is the way. Looks like they're going Good with the pitching wedge. Should bounce left. It should. Down the hill. That is perfect. Oh, I thought it was going to go more. 
I thought with that tailwind hitting that slope it was going to go, but it, it just stopped. That ball just stopped. Okay. 18 feet uphill, 2 inches. I, I cannot believe that stopped. I know the greens haven't been that fast today, but still. It's a little bit left edge. Don't overthink this. This is buckets. Don't overthink it. Oh, sensational putt that one. A big play at the right time. And their rival is now shaking in their boots. Listen, after that slow well, start, that good play, this we could have now in first we could have panicked. With Colin Morikawa in second. We didn't hit the panic button. We are on a roll after those first and four pars. And opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. We have a big lead now. We just have to hold it. This is where we can lose it. I'm going left here. Hybrid. Well left. I'm not risking this. Opting for the hybrid, I think. We got so lucky. That, wasn't their that is approach, not oh, look at that. The wind what I was trying to do. Havoc with that shot. Disappointing. I mean... Disappointing for some, lucky to others. We caught a big break that that ball did not go in the water. Wow. Okay. It's... I... Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. You all realize that could have lost us the tournament. That was yeah, not the miss hit. I was part. even... Keep in mind, I was trying to fast it. Like, I was not going for a slow. Somehow, I ended up slowing it. I don't know if that's the nerves or what, but wow. He's currently sitting in first place. Five stroke advantage here. This is our tournament to win. We cannot lose this. It would be the the worst loss ever. Come on. Nothing worse than trying to lay up. Sometimes and you hit some good ones. Sometimes you hit some bad ones. Doing that. I don't even know what to do here. We've got to punch it. Uh, this is such a tricky shot. Do not try this at home. What you're about to see, never attempt. I just want to point that out that you all should never do this shot. But I'm going to do it. Full loft. I mean, full backspin. Full D loft. Hit it low. Hit it up. It's <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no way. I don't even know what to do. I think we just got to send it. I do think full loft though. Five iron. I, I don't even know. I'll be honest. Not a shot you hit very often, right? Just got to make sure this ball doesn't hit the tree and knock Ryan out, right? <laughs> that would be a clip if Ryan knocks himself out. Oh, my. Ryan's already made the not, the not top 10 this week in the MLB The Show series episode that would have been posted, I guess, the Saturday before this video goes live. So I guess that would have been the week before, but still for his terrible play in the field for the Cincinnati Reds. We don't want to make not top 10 again. Opting for the five iron. That's really good. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. That's really good. Wow. Well, a little off the target with that one. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. That was fantastic. I mean, the distance control, good precision, did not hit the tree. I, ju I just pushed it, and then it was a fast two, and What's I just overhit it. Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Yeah, Hinny's right. This is the place to score from. 13 feet, uphill 4 inches. Come on. Oh, that's a clutch par. The nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. 
Good thing the magnets were engaged. Maybe the caddy docked. Maybe she threw the threw the magnet into the cup. This is what it's all about. We got lucky there. Who is gonna get it done? Luck is on her side. We've had some unlucky rounds in this career mode. Luck was on her side there. Chance to pop one up the middle. Come on. This is the first tournament that we may run away with this season. Maybe one other one. Every single, every single tournament this season has been a battle. And this one, we might That's be able to run away with it. Five stroke advantage? That's... I need to be quiet. It's always when I start saying something, right? It's too much confidence. I don't know. I need confidence in the it NBA 2K25 series. I can tell you that. Wind right to left for him. I have no shooting confidence in that game right now. None. Send wedge pitch shot. This is perfect. This is pitcher perfect. Cannot miss this. Good shot. Well, You'd right like it to be a bit closer, floor. though. A great shot from our leader. These putts really add up at the end of the day, right on 12 feet. Yeah, Luke Little is right. Look in here. These are the putts that really add up. These are the ones that you really got to make. Ouch, that hurts. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Golf is painful sometimes, you know, just a little bit off. Oh, what a stroke. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. And we made it. That's all that matters. Doesn't matter how close it was. As long as it drops, it's a par. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Good news is Two Colin has go, really slowed down. Can they hang on. Tiger has Always as well. the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. This is the first time we've ever seen Colin Murakawa actually slow down in a round. No, he didn't. He bogeyed the last two hoes in round one. This season, you know, he's only won one tournament, I believe. We looked at it after the end of the last episode. But he's always been there. Maybe not always, but when he's there, he dominates. Quality shot, that one. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Henny, what do you like from 155? Eight iron? I like eight iron. This is a perfect club. If we birdie this, it's over. Going with the eight iron here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Go in. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Seven feet to the cup. You know, after those first four pars, what did I say? Do you want to win or do you want to lose? You know, Ryan answered that question with his play in the rest of the round. What a comeback. I mean, not a comeback in the sense of, like, we were losing because we were winning the whole time, but a good comeback from a slow start, right? Does that make sense? Good comeback, finish. And that's for birdie. Well that, that seals the deal. There's no way. Even if Colin eagled that, he's not going to ace the final spot. hole. After that hole, keep it going. Tiger gets a birdie. It is going to be a battle at East Lake and maybe the BMW Championship between well, Ryan Gamer, Colin Morikawa, and, and Tiger Woods. Good luck. We can only dream, right? <laughs> Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Okay. I'll be honest with you all. I kind of forgot about the water there and i just went up there with confidence and hit it yeah oh that's outstanding another great shot by our leader yeah kind of forgot of about the water <laughs> and that's okay because we had a good shot let's let's finish strong finish with the birdie what a way to close out the tournament do you want to win or lose everybody come on thank you for the one times we've won it now like there's no way we can lose just an exceptional Shows display of golf. Right like, what? After a, a really here. slow start with those pars, I was off 
and then the well, putter got hot, right? This tournament, and that's exhibit A. Let's finish with the birdie. This is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. That's right. Ryan puts in hours and hours with the swing coach, Jerry, on putts like this. Oh, that's frustrating. Poor timing to miss it. Just because right, you spend hours and hours does not mean you're going to make it. This one in to claim the title. What a tournament. We we won after a terrible a terrible performance in season two at the FedEx St. Jude Championship. Ryan Gamer comes out the next season and wins. We're looking to win all three in the FedEx Cup playoffs. Come on. Let's go, well, baby. Come on. The putt goes down. It's a championship victory. Luke, the victories. Winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. Incredible display of golf. I mean, that's how you win. That is how you win right there. You stay focused. You well, don't you get flustered. And that's you win. That's how you start the process. Go and win one of these playoff events. Massive step to earning the massive bonus at season's end. Unbelievable job. A new trophy to the trophy cabinet, everybody. Are you kidding me? The FedEx St. Jude Championship is Ryan Gamers. We're looking to win the BMW Championship. We will be trying to defend our title in the BMW Championship. We won it a season ago. And it was we won it in, I believe it was a playoff, right? I believe it was a playoff. And then, of course, the ultimate goal is East Lake. Let's keep focused, keep our eye on the prize, and let's finish strong. Now, for some reason, Colomore Cabo and Tiger Woods really struggled in that final round here at TPC Southwind. It happens. We've been there, honestly, with the start we had. I was thinking we may only shoot three under in the round or maybe worse. We got the win there. 19 under par for the victory. 13 under for Colin Morikawa, Tiger Woods at 11, Xander Shoffley, Roy Zabatini, Max Homa, John Rahm, Taylor Moore, Lydia Ko, and David Lipsky make out your top 10. Now, we will be taking a look at event stats too, uh, but BMW Championship is left. The Week 2 tournament of the FedEx Cup playoffs. There is only two tournaments left here before, or one tournament left till East Lake, but two tournaments left in this season. Let's take a look at the stats and see how we did here. So 75 fairways for the event. Amazing. Now we had 85 in round one, 83 greens. Now in round two, we really struggled to hit fairways. Uh, that's about our average, 64, and greens in regulation at 61. Not ideal, but proximity to hole was surprisingly really good. 18 in round one, hitting more fairways. Now in the final round, we hit less fairways in greens, but had a better proximity to hole. One putt percentage was really good. I thought we did not putt well, but we putted really well. Wow. This is final round putting. 100 short, 85 medium, and 50 long. That is phenomenal putting with a birdie conversion of 63. And we had a one putt percentage of 77 in round one. We were putting amazing in round one. Look at those numbers. Are you kidding me? Putting was exceptional the entire event. 75 fairways for the event, 72 greens with proximity hole of 17.8, one putt percentage of 75, and look at putt accuracy. We only missed one medium putt, and we made eight out of 16 putts greater than 10 feet. That is unreal. Might be the best we've had on the season. That is how you win tournaments. If we do that, at the BMW Championship, and most of all, hopefully, at East Lake, nobody can beat us. That is unreal stats. Wow. Birdie conversion of 73 for the tournament. 19 birdies, 17 pars, bogey free. What? That's a bogey free tournament never before seen. Actually, I think we may have done it one other time or, or a couple times. That is a great tournament. Limit mistakes, you win tournaments, right? That's It's as simple as that. Let's take a look at the new FedEx Cup standings here and see where everybody stands. Is Tiger Woods in second or did Colomore Kawa move up to second? It doesn't look like it. So yeah, all rivals have been defeated. So now it starts back over. I was hoping we would have had Tiger Woods in the finale. Okay, so we got Ryan Gamer, 
Tiger Woods, Lydia Ko, John Rahm, and Colin Morikawa. Colin moves into the fifth spot. And honestly, if he plays like he did again, he's going to move up possibly into the second place. Now, as we know, with the Tour Championship, with the way it's set up, you better be on the money, right? I mean, it's true. You better be on the money. Because if you're starting not number one, if you're starting in fifth, it's going to be much harder to win. And so you need to make sure that you get the advantage, the most advantage you can with, with regards to placement in the FedEx Cup standings. Because that will dictate where you start score-wise at East Lake. So Colin Morikawa, if he doesn't get into the second place or in the top three... He better be on his A game and he better have one of his best tournaments ever because it is tough to win at East Lake. If you're, I mean, if you're in the top five, yes, but I don't know, even fifth is really, really tough, especially if we run away with it. Now, I'm not saying we're gonna run away with it at East Lake, <laughs> I, it's my nemesis. So, like, have we ever ran away with it? No, that doesn't mean we can't, though. So, next up, we got the BMW Championship, everybody. Get your one times ready for the next to last tournament here in season three at Wilmington CC South. We are looking to defend our championship here, the BMW championship and looking to get revenge at East Lake this year. We can do this. We have to stay focused. We play our game. We can win not only the BMW championship, which will be a two round tournament, but we can go on and win at East Lake. We have to play focused. No life stories at East Lake. I'm saying it now. I'm not going to tell any life stories. Maybe one or two in rounds one or two. When we get to rounds three or four, I may not say a word. Yeah, I, yeah right, right. I, I can't even say that without smiling or laughing because you all know I can't go that long without talking. But I'm not I'm going to try not to talk very much because I want to win this season i do not want to get it stolen from us when we are number one the entire season and then colin morikawa comes in when we started with the lead yeah we're not gonna do that again we're getting revenge at east lake big thank you to all of you all for all the support here on this channel and for watching this video to the end if you got some enjoyment be sure to drop a like subscribe for more i can't even talk now i'm so surprised that we won the fedex say true championship <laughs> Oh my, I don't even know if I'm uh, speaking correct uh, grammar right now. I mean, usually I'm not, right? But you all, you know, maybe pronunciations are a little off right now. I guess that would be no different than the usual. But we have fun here at the Game Rebuilder YouTube channel, and that is what it's all about. If you want more career mode episodes, check out the other series on the channel. We got nine ongoing series at the same time right now. I'm having a blast with all of them. One of my favorites is definitely the Kentucky college football 25 dynasty one uh, that one is so much fun if you have not watched that one i highly recommend it it, is, it has been electric and this season one was electric but season two it has been so intense every single game and then nba 2k25 has been a lot of fun recently now i'm in a shooting slump right now I, i'll just admit it uh, shooting just has not been there uh, so looking to find our shot in that game nba 2k25 is so tough this year it's either perfect timing or or you're missing. It is so tough. Uh, but I will see you all in the next video on the channel. We can celebrate this win, but we need to focus up to win the BMW Championship and then the Tour Championship. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.